Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you, Ryan. You're welcome. I'm glad I could work urine into that. Hey there, welcome to Movie Phones Unscripted. I'm Ryan Reynolds and I'm here with Sandra Bullock to talk about our new film, The Proposal. Now we're gonna ask each other some questions and we're gonna ask some of your questions as well. And uh, I think that we should probably now start with the first question. This is from Amanda in Orlando, Florida. She says, I saw the naked hug in the trailer. How do you prepare for a nude scene? Sandra. I like how she called it a hug. That was some hug. No, it wasn't a naked hug. Some of those hugs have bored some children. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> um, you know, I, I think under any other circumstance, mm -hmm. with any other person, and I don't know because I don't know every other person, but anyone I can imagine, I don't think doing that scene would have been as comfortable and as easy after hour two. I mean, it wasn't easy because you're, no, no. you know, it's it's humiliating. Some no. people are very comfortable walking around naked. Yeah. I, I, outside of the shower and bathtub, I am not. No, no, my. I think it's harder for women to get to the point where you go, I like who I am. I don't care what you know what mm -hmm. people think, and then you have to put it on screen, and then you have to own that comment. Yeah, is a little hard, you know. And then you're going, I need to stand up straighter. How do my boobs look? Is my butt jiggling? Yeah. You know, I told our director just when we hit, and the ripple effect happens. Just let it be like two <laughs> ripple ripples effect. on All the right. butt, and just cut before it goes. Blah, 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 you know? I don't think that happened because she cut. And cut the film before... There were very few cuts in that scene. I mean, if you remember it, it's... I saw a lot of cuts in your six-pack, which uh, I didn't have. I'm uncomfortable. But I, I had I no muscle definition whatsoever. And you were like, all oh, Wolverine. That was... Don't uh, ask you what this I is. A, it's a gang sign for Wolverine. It's the, yeah, it's the, it's the East L.A. version. Wolverine. <laughs> have you ever said yes to doing something, only to regret it later? What was it? I have said yes to jumping out of a perfectly good aircraft only to deeply, deeply regret it 13 jumps later. Uh, on my 13th skydiving jump, I was trying to get certified for some reason, um, not for an insane asylum, but for skydiving. And uh, I, my chute failed, and that uh, uh, unfailingly sucked. And I uh, basically had to pull my reserve chute, and that was terrifying, because then I thought, this is where my mind went. I was like, what? if I if I cut this shoot away that's not working, then I'll only have one left. Mm -hmm. It was the dumbest Do you think maybe they process. did that on purpose if you get certified? Okay, let's rig the shoot that doesn't work to make sure he knows? No, because my very good friend John packed my shoot. And then when Is I, he a really good friend now? N no, no, I, I had to kill him when I got to the ground. But uh, uh, I do, I am still friends with him, but I, I remember pulling my reserve shoot and looking up and it was flying straight and I remember feeling this overwhelming sense of relief, but the reserve chute you can't steer very well, so I wasn't quite out of danger yet. I was worried I was gonna land on some power lines. Also. I finally landed in my urine-soaked jumpsuit, and uh, I'd had enough of that, and that was definitely a decision I regretted uh, evermore, yeah. jumping out of that first plane, which led to that. What is the most challenging moment you've ever had on a film set? There was one of my first films um, a scene where the director had me in a car in a, in a very narrow tunnel mm -hmm. and um, he and it was you know he wanted to create a sense of claustrophobia yeah. so he had me in a car and just a two-lane highway and then had the the stunt drivers drive 18 wheelers as quickly as they could by this car as I was in this car and I couldn't get out yeah and to have me go as insane as I possibly could with fear wow. and it wouldn't stop yeah. And, you know, I, it, he got the end result, but I, I just, and then I, I realized at the end of it, I was like, wow, that was someone manipulating your real fears yeah. rather than your acting fears to get an end result. And I was half, half impressed and I go, wow, yeah. that's some good directing. And the other half was so pissed off. Yeah, I wanted I to imagine. kill him. I was like, what yeah. if something had gone wrong yeah. and just nipped the front of that car? I, I would have been crushed and yeah. killed. So I think that was probably... My most challenging, it's emotionally challenging, but that just really made I think me that afraid. sounds like it was both. Maybe. Is this director still an <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Oh. Let's call him. All right, yeah. Let's ask him. We should find out. What is the biggest favor you've ever asked of your personal assistant, Sandra? To birth my child so I didn't have to experience the pain. Ow. God, yeah. does that come with some kind of 
medical plan or she would do retirement it. benefits? She would do it for a cool 50 grand. Wow. Just kidding. No, I'm just um, She's a hard boss. I heard you demanding a kidney from her once. She gave it. Yeah. She didn't have to. You took it. I did, and it's <coughs> working. Just her other one failed, yeah. poor thing. Um, <laughs> look, I yeah. didn't force her. I said, can I? And she said, do I keep my job if I give you my kidney? I said, yeah. yes, you do. Yeah. And I, now I'm fine. Yeah, because you know what? It's not just an assistant. It's like a pod for emergency harvestable organs. Thank you. I don't think I've ever asked anything. I, I mean, I'm trying to think. You know, something like I, I you're asked so, you. You're so you're. I'm gonna be literal here. You're so nice to everyone that you work with. So I, you know, there's no. I've asked them to no, lie. No, 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 no trash here. I've asked them to lie. I asked them to yeah. lie and not give out phone numbers and lie about situations, which then they didn't lie about. And now I'm married. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's. Yeah. Which I'm thankful. I asked her to lie. She wouldn't do it. And then now it's you're... the best thing she ever did for me. If you could come back at any previous time before your birth... Whoa, okay. ...in the world of film, mm -hmm. what time of filmmaking would you come back in and what type of movie and who would you like to act with? Oh, man. That's a good question. Um... I would definitely make it one of those old timey films. With the black and whites, with the. <laughs> I just like the word old timey. Um, I, you know what? I just saw the uh, this great film called Days of Wine and Roses with Jack Lemmon. Yeah. And I thought, my God, I would give anything to to get to work with that oh, guy. Oh, amazing! Yeah, you remind so me, you fun. have the same timing as Jack Lemmon too. Like you have that. He had. You've got old timey timing. I like uh, saying old timey too. I, it's a great. But when yeah. you say you go old timey, old timey, old timey, old timey. Ali asks, "What is the most embarrassing experience you've ever had at work?" <laughs> oh no, really? Is it? Am I involved? No, I okay. just. I, it's funny, but I don't, don't want to make it public. <laughs> oh well, then don't. I mean. Yeah, I don't. I don't yeah. know if I. The most embarrassing is something that I don't really feel comfortable in sharing. Do you want to change some names and maybe some locations? No, because it just makes me look so bad. I, I could answer mine if that maybe me, yes, I know she was asking me. Share yours. I once worked with an, an actress who, um, uh, hmm. this is back when I worked exclusively with crackheads. Okay. She lost her tooth in the middle of a scene and that, that freaked me out. And I was embarrassed for her. I was deeply embarrassed for her um, and it was awful. Were you guys kissing? It was terrible. <laughs> No, we weren't kissing. She took an uh, like a one of those breath mint things right before the the take that sits in the little camera box right by you the. You know, the I know who yeah. this is, right? And what's that? Hmm? Uh, you know who this is? Hmm? Okay. Um, <laughs> but it wasn't anyway, me. No, it certainly wasn't you. Uh, anyway, she bit into this thing and and out came her tooth. The embarrassing part was is that I you is, swallowed is, it. I, no, no, I'm the only one who noticed <laughs> oh. for the first ten minutes or so, and I you know I didn't really want to say I didn't did know how to broach it. Fell out? She sort of started to. I don't. I don't know if she was Where sober. Where did, did it fall so, out? But uh, did she swallow no, it? No, it kind of like rolled into her mouth somewhere. Where did but she, she also feel had that? like mi a couple of mints in there, and I so I think it was like sort oh. of confused in the mouth. The whole mouth area was confused, and I was deeply embarrassed. And I really just wanted. I didn't just want the day to end. I wanted the year to end. <laughs> I was like so over it. So who did you go? I finally said, you know, you're missing a tooth. <laughs> How did I think she take we should that? stop. Oh my god. Like, yeah, anyway. Okay, so, well. Okay, well. <laughs> on that note. <laughs> on that note. Thank you for watching Movie Phone. And um, thank you so much for sending in your questions as well. They were actually very good. Sorry I couldn't answer some of them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want that out there in the the world. Yeah. But uh, we hope you see our film the proposal June nineteenth. Because Ryan is definitely worth it seeing him naked. Oh, God. Yeah, I'm funny it. naked. He okay. looks good naked. She's just hot. Oh, my God. It just makes me like, if you just, I, I don't know what you would do. Like, you have to tell me now. <laughs> no! I'm not going to tell you. You doing the slight sensitive smile? I'm doing, I'm thinking about something. Shot. Uh oh. And now, crotch. <laughs> <laughs>